Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston here with Indy, the little poop disturber. <laughs> um, uh, what am I? I own a business called the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I am also a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the mountains of Canmore, Alberta, Canada. And as you can see, this darling has woken up from her nap. So you will probably be hearing <laughs> And so hopefully the husband will take her out, right? So she, it's a good thing she looks cute because I tell you, she has destroyed more things than, <laughs> yeah, lots. So this is the, the, the yappy one. The other one is sleeping behind me. Let me see if I can move out of the way so you can see him. He's laying in the bed, kind of over there. Hey, bud. How's bud? And this is what he does all day. He follows the little, the sun around the house uh, in the living room throughout the day. And uh, he he loves his naps and his sunshine. He kind of lives for that. So, so there's my little darling. She is a cuddler when she's, when she's tired, which is kind of cute. So in the car, if we ever go on a car ride, she cuddles up right on my shoulder, on my neck here and uh, yeah, right? Is that Indy? That's Indy. I know. Okay, thank you. Okay, I don't like leaks on my face. Okay, you go have a seat. You go have a seat too. Oh, you got a bone. Oh, aren't you lucky? Go hide it. You go hide it. So there she is. Probably grown a little since uh, you last saw her. She's gotten very long, not very tall. <laughs> I don't know. So who knows what she's going to end up looking like. But uh, yes, like I say, it's a good thing she's cute. <laughs> you should have seen all. Is she part miniature pincher? She's supposed to be Yorkie and Chihuahua. So I don't know. We kind of got it from this guy who lived on a farm who had a whole bunch of... Uh, dogs there um so who knows officially right and we don't we didn't care about the papers and all that kind of stuff we just we just wanted a a little buddy for um bud when our former dog passed away breezer he was a yorkie as well and he was 14 and he had kidney disease for quite a long time and then while we were back in manitoba for the summer he passed away and so um Bud was a little lost and we thought oh he needs another little friend so we got Indy and I didn't think you know Indy would <laughs> I didn't think I could ever have a dog as wild as Breezer was I was so wrong <laughs> it must be the Yorkie thing I don't know yappy and digging and constantly in stuff and running and pulling and you know, yeah, must be that breed, I guess. That's what I'm saying anyways. So that's my little girl. Um, I know Janet wanted to see a picture of her, and so the rest of you got to see. I don't think she's on here yet, but thanks, everybody, for popping on this morning. And she's ringing the bell. <laughs> she wants out. For Thanks for popping on today. It's Friday, and so, of course, Fridays we want to play around with a fun little technique to uh, I want to give a try. And, of course, our lovely Amy inspired this, and I'll show you the cards that inspired um, me to give this a try. And um, we will see how it goes. I, I didn't practice ahead of time, so we're just going to wing it. We're going to do it. All right. Um, first off, though... Yesterday we had fun also and I had said that uh, we used our washi tape. I had said that I would give away some of these cards that um, I had made. Let me just flip screens here so you can see which one I'm kind of looking at. So here's this one, the little hello with the matching. Am I going too far down? I know I always stamp down at the bottom so I like to... Um, have the camera a little lower but anyways I said if anybody shares this video I was gonna send this card off so here are the share people that I've listed them 
into this random picker deal. So I'm gonna press start and see who wins this little hello card. Karen Sutton, you are the winner of this little hello card. Now I better write this down because you know what's gonna happen, right? My brain tends to go on hiatus quite often. So I'm just gonna write this down here, Karen. Awesome. And then I said that I was going to send out a card for um, any of the commenters. So here, remember this card I did with the white craft ink on the black cardstock? Does this not make you think of um, the American flag? Can you can you think of like if you had the blue, the white stripes? I don't know if you do. I don't know how you would work it. Reds, I don't know, just make, maybe you could have a, a layer of red in there with the white stars, I don't know. But I think it would look absolutely stunning to um, kind of do this technique for kind of the American, not Thanksgiving, uh, July the 1st. You guys are July 1st, right? Or are you Jul July the 4th? <laughs> We're July the 1st. Oh my goodness, yikes. I've been up way too early this week. Okay, so this one goes to a commenter, which I'm gonna get my computer set up for that one. This one goes there, so here we go. Anybody who commented last yesterday is in this draw. Let's see who's gonna win this one. Mary Ellen, congratulations. I'm just gonna write your name down here, Mary Ellen. And I had asked you yesterday, yesterday, but you hadn't got back to me yet. Do you like Mary Ellen or do you like Mary? Maybe you don't like Mary Ellen. I don't know. So tell me what I, I should be calling you. And then lastly, I had said, oh, you know, we're kind of focusing on careers that start with C today. We're focusing on people whose name starts with a C. So I went through all my comments, picked out all the people who, um, whose name started with a C, and there were three. So, there were Corey, there was Corey, Karma, and Cindy. So I'm gonna send out this card to whoever wins this. Tap to spin. I haven't used this one before. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <gasps> Cindy! I think. Oh. Oh, Karma! <laughs> Sorry. All right. Way to go, Karma. And even clapped for you. So, Karma. Oh, by the skin of your teeth, Cindy. I might ha I have another card. I'm going to send it to Cindy because I had, you know, announced the winner prior to uh, <laughs> actually going. So I'm going to send this one to Karma. And Cindy, I will get a different. I have another one that I will send to Cindy. Cindy. Alternate card. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Let's move into. I want to show you the final copy, the final project that I made for Cliff, our condo caretaker. So of course we, you saw the card that we made yesterday. Here's the little insert that I decided to make. So just with this, the label me bold, the stripes just along the sides, um, stamp those little black stars. I had stamped the black stars on here and this one didn't quite turn out quite nicely. So I actually <laughs> stamped it on a white piece of cardstock, fussy cutted it out. You can imagine how tiny that is and glued it on. And actually I kind of like it. It makes the kind of three thing work. So I like it. Um, and well, here's the little envelope I made to match. So with the gray, uh, no, no, no. Basic gray, Knight of Navy, and Mossy Meadow, and that one was Smoky Slate. And there again, I just kind of tied in those pieces for the flap. And here's my little box. Just kind of did that same technique that we did for the card. Um, tied this all together with some of the 
twine from the Country Club um, twine set. I think there's four colors that come in that. So, so there we go. I just now need to go and buy a gift card for him and um, I'll be delivering that. So that's kind of fun. Let's see, what else do I have to share today? Reading Stampin' Up! News yesterday. Um, FYI, they're, they're back. Yes, so painted the Painted Poppies bundle, that Peaceful Moments bundle, so the one that comes with the poppies but has more kind of poppy dyes kind of thing, and great, great sayings. Those two are back. The Bonanza Buddies bundle is back. So that was kind of those cute little animals. Um, would be great for kids' cards. Um, as well as Honey Bee. I'm so excited that Honey Bee is back because I know a lot of us loved playing with that and some a lot of people missed out on that one. So since they're back, you need to run. <laughs> And get those before they, you know, ho hopefully they don't, but in case they go on back order again. And speaking of back order, I just wanted to let you know that I checked out that inventory status report that demonstrators can do. And I just wanted to let you know that these things are on low inventory. So if you were thinking about them, go get them. Mountain Air Bundle, so that we played with two weeks ago and had lots of fun. So if that interests you, you might want to snag that before it goes on back order or is gone for good. Um, if they aren't bringing it back um, for the June catalog, it'll be gone. Also the Ornate Style Bundle, that's what we played with last week. That one's on low inventory. The White Polka Dotted Tool Ribbon. Oh. One of my favorites is that, you know, you can color it. You, it just kind of is dainty and delicate and goes with everything. So I know I have to restock on that. And the white crinkled seam binding ribbon. Um, I know you often see Lisa and I color it. Um, let me find, I'll find it here and show you a picture. And the tear and tape, which as you saw, Indy um, enjoyed <laughs> yesterday. So, um, you may want to stock up on that as well. All right, let's go back to here. So this is that um, crinkled seam binding ribbon. Works really neat to gather it, to put it across your cards, um, definitely to color it with the Stampin' Blends. So if this interests you, go and get it. All right, on to our cards today. Just set up oopsie, a screen here so that all is working well. There we have it. Okay, so you can see my facial expressions. <laughs> all right, so a oh, I was going to show you this. Okay, the whole inspiration for these cards were from Miss Amy. So this is one she sent us. Um, it, it's called the watercolor drip technique. Isn't it gorgeous? So see how she, you know, drip the water, the colors down the paper. And I, as soon as I saw that this, this, I thought, oh, I have to try this, and I want to do it with those little three by three cards. I think it'll look absolutely cute. So that's one that she showed us, and here is the other one that she sent our way, just to show us. So aren't those adorable? What an awesome way to create a background. Now I see she's got one, two, three, four, five, six colors there. I only dug out three, but we may, three per card, but I may uh, just <laughs> fish through my, all my reinkers and ink pads are right here. So if we need to, you know, add a little extra color or something, we can do that. All right, so this is what we're going to be fiddling around with today. Now, Amy, if I do it differently than you and you have a tip um, that really works well for you, please let us know because you're our expert. I've never done this, okay? All right, so this first card, I'm using the watercolor paper for this. Um, I don't know if you did, Amy, or not. 
um, if you just used the straight paper or if you used um, the thick whisper white or the shimmery whisper white paper I I don't know help us out okay so let us know how this works um, and I've got myself my reinkers I don't know if you just use the ink pads or did you use reinkers I'm gonna try the reinkers we'll see what it, what happens who knows okay so here's my little clear block that I'm just gonna add a dot of reinker and of course this this is pretty potent ink color right so a dot's probably all, all we're gonna need and you know I suppose if we need more we go back and we just add a little more yes you use watercolor paper okay awesome I also love how you use the stitched rect reinkers are better um, I love how you use the stitched rectangle framelits or for dies, I call them frames, dies um, to kind of cut out your watercolor paper. That kind of, that stitching made it look so pretty. And I suppose I could have checked, but we could have probably played around with the um, stitched shapes dies. I wonder if this square would have made it with these little three by threes Ooh, yes it would have oh why didn't i check that out ahead of time anyways we're just going to go with it how i have it all set up and ready and uh go from there all right did you use a spritzer or did you just go in with aqua painter i'm curious because um some people did some of both and our spot's going to get probably pretty messy, and that's okay. I have lots of green paper. So I'm just waiting to see. Oh, I see Pat. And a few people have shared already. You never know when a surprise will be uh, drawn. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing. That helps my little business. And if you comment lots, that also helps my business and give all the little hearts and thumbs up. That helps too. Actually, the thumbs up doesn't really help. Just so you know, just for info's sake. The hearts or any other face are... Okay, you just used an aqua painter. Um, the hearts and any other face um, kind of encourage Facebook algorithms. The, the thumbs up sign doesn't really do a whole lot. So you if you love something give it lots and lots of hearts <laughs> okay so i've got my aqua painter here it is filled with water and i'm just gonna i'm gonna start along the top i could probably use a block just to get it rolling instead of my paper so i'm just gonna kind of color a little bit at the top just to kind of get things wet and rolling and then i'm just gonna allow it to drip and if you need to make some, encourage it, then go for it. Whoops, in the screen is good. <laughs> Give it a little push. All right, I think we're good. Let's go with this. All right, now these colors, I thought, oh, what are some nice spring colors? Let's go with those. I'm gonna get a few more drips going. So this is, it on watercolor paper, wherever your water is, the color will, roll, will move, right? So that's why I'm starting the, the kind of the water drips ahead of time. So I'm going to start in here with my the Cocoa Rose and I'm just going to drop in the color at the top here. And let's just wipe that off. So yes, this is inspired by spring. And then a silver Cocoa Rose and I thought, oh, some pear pizzazz because that's kind of got some 
you know, our new leaves, our blossoms. Sorry, guys, I'm not in the thing. And then in with some um, Seaside Spray. Keep in mind that um, the color will dry lighter than um, what you think it will. So it may look pretty dark right now, but you want to add a, a t lo lots of color, okay? So make sure it's pretty dark and I'm squeezing the aqua painter as I drip it down the way. I see there's no little what happened here? Get stuck. The little drip. I'm liking how these colors are a little bit blending there too. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just touching the bottoms, just picking up some of the color. There's a big drip at the bottom, so I'm just taking that off. Just touch it with your aqua painter and it'll lift it off. Okay, I think this guy is just going to be... This is my spring. Isn't that neat? So now I'm going to go in with my um, heat tool. Let's dry it up. Okay, so here we go. There's our fun, cute little background. Isn't that neat? Okay, so now I've got a disaster here. First off, let's clean up my little block with the re-inkers. Let's get rid of that. So I don't stick my elbow or put my card in it. Number two, I'm just going to sop this up a little bit. I might not even use paper today. I just use the plastic that's on my desk and just wipe it off. Let's do that. I'm also going to get a little block for just the water, to get the water running. Um, I think I'm going to try this. I'm going to wipe my, re, my aqua painter off on my Simply Chamois. I'm going to use that as my kind of cleaner. All right, so. Aw, cute. Isn't that neat? All right, so I think because this is watercolor paper, I'm going to use my liquid glue. You could also use tear and tape. Um, just a minute. I wonder, could we put a little, does it need some whisper white ribbon or something? Twine. polka dots. That's kind of cute. Let's do that. Remember, this is on back order. Almost, or low inventory, pardon me. So 
so don't delay on that one if you want to um, bump that ribbon. You don't want to run out. I'm just going to put some snail on either side at the back there. That's how I like to attach my ribbon. And let's go in here along the top. Just tuck it behind. It's hard not to pull it. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go in here with my liquid glue, just because it's it's bumpy. Um, I think tear and tape, blue dots, or this liquid glue would work the best with the watercolor paper, just to make sure it's stuck. Okay, and then I wanted to use Happy birthday with for this one. So my little happy birthday is here. I'm gonna get out my little G block. This is from the Label Me Bold, what I, which I've been playing with all week. Had lots of fun, and I'm gonna try Rococo Rose on Rococo Rose. We'll see what it looks like if it's not happening. I, I almost think. Nah, let's go in with white. I think it'll pop better. And of course, like I've said all week, these, this Label Me Bold, all those little scraps that you have, oh, sheesh, that you've um, cut off when you make your card um, layers, your first card layer, um, these can be used for this. Rococo Rose is what I was gonna go with. my Rococo ink pad. Happy birthday. Anybody have a birthday in April? Anyone, anyone? There is my happy birthday. You've missed something magical. Oh, yes. Lucky for you, I have lots of cards and lots of ideas that I wanna try with this technique. So we'll be doing it again. Isn't it neat? There, let's show that card off. Maybe I'll do a little less white border around this. It's a good part about these label, label me bold um, stamps. You just use your paper snips and your scissors and you just cut them out. You don't need a stamp or a punch. You don't need any dies. You just snip, snip, snip and you're done. And of course, like I've always been saying all week too, they fit these mini dimensionals perfectly. So they've thought of everything until you stamp them up. It's amazing. Still haven't had any takers on getting this set yet. If you run Canada and you get this set through me, I'm going to send you a whole box. The first person is going to get a whole box of pizza, mini pizza boxes. Yes. <laughs> There's my little happy birthday. I could have outlined, um, put another layer, but eh, I don't think so. And my, where are all my jewels? Let's add some bling. Oh, yes. Remember these last week, the Gilded Gems? Love them. Let's add some gold onto here. Here they are. Gems flying all over. Champagne rhinestones are on their way to coming into stock, by the way. Oops. There's one that wanted really badly to go on the card. Let's go one up here. All I have are the large and the mediums, but we'll make do. Come on, let's stick it. Let's put it up there. All right, there's our little happy birthday. Adorable. You've been going nuts so with the gems lately. I know, they're awesome. Okay, so 
thoughts for the inside of this card. Got my little whisper white piece here. I think I'm going to use this stamp later on. Uh, and same with the envelope flap. I'm just going to add those three colors on the envelope flap and just, you know, three little layers there. I think I'm also going to come in with this little dot stamp. Um, ooh, I could white emboss before I stamp. That might, because that would tie in those dots from that ribbon. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'll think about that. And then I think I'm just going to re-stamp that little happy birthday there and add those little dots in the three colors that we use. Pardon me, my nose is itchy. I'm not picking my nose. All right, so that's my goal. I will, of course, show you the finished products on my blog later today. Okay, where am I going to put this in a safe spot? So what do you think of that color combo? Rococo Rose, Hair Pizzazz, and Seaside Spray. Give me some hearts if you love that, love that color combo. Does it make you think of spring? I don't know, <laughs> be honest. We'll see. Okay, let me put these away. Hair pizzazz, Rococo. All right, next, next card. Um, I decided to do Blushing Bride, Seaside Spray. Didn't I use Seaside Spray? What did I use before? Oh, that was Balmy Blue, by the way. Our last card was Balmy Blue, not Seaside Spray. My bad. And this one I don't have the reinker for um, Purple Posy, of course, because it's kind of done. But I still want to play with the ink pad. I still want to use it. I still want to, you know, play with the paper. I have it. Might as well play with it. It's It doesn't work the best for um, stamping with. That's for sure and they admit that so um, yeah um, okay so this one I'm going to do a little bit smaller size and actually put a kind of a mat of the purple posy behind it okay so I'm going to do that a little bit smaller than I did the last go round and I'm hoping to somehow add in the seaside spray with the I'm going to do a little for you I thought these colors kind of remind am I higher I, I feel like I'm like zoomed in so closely you're not getting the whole I just see my messy desk I'm going to try and back up a little there maybe you'll see more I want to keep banging my okay I thought these colors reminded me of unicorns a little bit my little niece is into unicorns um, she loves them and so I thought oh this would be I send them a card every month and a little present because they're back in Manitoba and I miss them so much so I think that this card is gonna go for her and uh, we'll see how it turns out Okay, so here we are again. We're going to use Blushing Bride. So I will just get a dot of the Blushing Bride reinker. And this time I'm going to use Seaside Spray. And then for pur Purple Posy, I'm just going to squeeze my ink pad really hard. You're going to think you're going to break it, but. These new ink pads are, you have to do a lot of pressure. And then I have lots of ink in the ink well there. Let me close my glue, because that's probably a smart idea. <laughs> All right. Here we go with our little piece of the um, watercolor paper. Move some of these things out of my way. I'm not using them right at the moment. I want access to this. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna come in here, just start the water running. Where it falls, it falls. Give it a little help, give it a push. Okay. 
Okay, I think that looks good. Now in with the color I think I want to get rid of this wetness. All right, in with the colors. Let's go in with our blushing bride first. So I'm squeezing my reinker while I that has water in it while I drip it down the paper. I'm just gonna wipe this off now onto my Simply Chamois, just to clear it off. I think I'm gonna go in with the Purple Posy. Now this, of course, is not gonna be near as dark as the reinker section. I suppose we could go in with Highland Heather. Maybe Highland Heather would work. Just to, let me get that. This Purple Posy is just not gonna, I want a nice purple in there. And I like the um, the orangey color of Blushing Bride. I think it uh, it's a neat pink. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, there we go. That's better. Add a little into those colors. Add a little more over here. And now our seaside spray. I'm just going to take my aqua painter and catch those little drips there. Okay, let's dry this up. Let me get my Kleenex again. Baby white. Clean off this ink off my block. Clean this little space up here. Just to make sure it's tidy. I can use that again. Okay. Now this one I was thinking I kind of want to add little hearts somewhere. Because I quite like her. She's she's such a sweetheart. She's very creative and she's a, a wonderful little card maker. Absolutely, absolutely love her. Um, okay, so I kind of wanted, I thought, little hearts. Um, we could do hearts on the purple posy layer. We could do some basic gray hearts, just kind of boop, boop, boop. I was thinking of for you and kind of wanted to tie in that balmy blue color. blushing bright. I'm curious as to what it might look like. Not sure if it'll be like bold enough that you'll see it really well or not before you in the blushing bride. Let's have a look. Um, not bad. I think I would go with that. Um, Okay, 
box here. I wonder if I tore a little piece. Kind of misses all that though. Let's see, cut it out, cut this out. You know what we thought yesterday, which I, I didn't do, is if we kind of offset the layer behind. We didn't do that yesterday, did we? Let's do that today with this one. Okay, so I'm gonna actually cut the same size as what I have for my little for you. It'll kind of make like a little shadow, almost like a little cloud, I suppose, idea. That's what it could be. A little, a little cloud, a forest. Yes. Especially because this dripped like this, right? It makes those little, yes, neat. Um, it could be kind of a little cloud with the little hearts dripping down from it. Heart rain. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let me get my snail. I'm just going to off center this. like a little shadow or a little more 3D, I suppose. Yes, nice. Let's pop that up with our mini dimensionals. Ah, two is good, I think. Um, maybe I should stamp the little hearts first. I think I'm gonna Seaside Spray. Just be careful because, of course, this is watercolor paper, and I mean, Stampin' Up's watercolor paper that they use um, is very good because even though it's got some bump to it, it is a fairly flat. But just be aware, it's not going to probably give you the best um, stamped image, not like what it would do on your normal cardstock, if you will. Ray of hearts. Stick one in there. All right. Cute. Oh, I love this. Oh, if you don't have the set, you gotta get the set. It's just fun. Okay, for you. You can even have it sticking off the the edge a little. Oh, look at those colors together. Gorgeous. All right, and like I kind of said before, let's use our liquid glue because it's a little bumpy. The paper's a little bumpy and we want to make sure that the glue gets in those little crevice, crevices and holds well for us. Oh, so cute. I kind of want to do a little white bow. Let's see. Because she's just a little fashionista. She just has great fashion sense. She just <laughs> she's young, but she dresses like a little grown-up. It's so, so cute. Um, she just got her own sense of style, that's for sure. And so a bow, a bow will have to have a little bow. Okay. Cut off those big tails. Get our little glue dot. Time, oh my goodness, we're at 40. Four minutes already. Oh yeah, you wait. Just kind of tuck it in the corner there, like so. Okay, and I didn't even finish putting this on the card base yet, but this gets to go onto the blushing bride color. Whoa. 
grow. Ran away glue. Adorable. What do you think? Isn't it cute? So cute. I like it. I'm glad I went with the lighter color as opposed to say a basic gray or a black. I think it's it's softer and it's kind of cute. So of course I will jazz up that envelope and um, the card insert and show you what I end up doing on my blog. All right, let's get rid of these colors and move on to our next combo. Now, I'm gonna try something with this. Doesn't mean it's gonna work. There again, I'm just, this is, I didn't practice this ahead of time. We're just going with it. So we'll see. Um, but what I was thinking for color combo, first off, Granny Apple Green, Pacific Point, um, Coastal Cabana. Okay, so that, that's the color combo I wanted to use. This one, I have a tiny, tiny square because I want to layer it up with, once again, with the two layers, kind of have a, a matte idea, right? So I'm using Coastal Cabana as the card base, pool, uh, Pacific Point, and then our little piece of watercolor paper, okay? I do want to tie in the Granny Apple Green somehow. We'll see how that works. But what I want to try with this one is we've always just been dripping one direction, but what if we drip more than one direction? I don't know. Let's try it, right? So let's start off how we did before. I'm going to get my little reinkers dotted here. So you kind of want reinkers. I see what Amy said. Reinkers work definitely. They're a little more bright colors than just the maybe if you used more potent inks like you know melon mambo real red night of navy maybe they would turn out a little brighter and darker blackberry bliss that would probably <laughs> that's a potent one think of all those colors that maybe stained our remember when we were doing the um Oh, what's it called? Northern Lights technique. And they were staining our um, sayings. I wonder if I just put a little Kleenex here just to catch the drips. Let's prevent some crazy before, <laughs> before it happens. Okay, so we're going to start off as normal. Let's go in here, wetting the top. I don't want to. I just want more drips. I don't necessarily want it to go. Um, into the card. As far as maybe I've been going. Okay, so I just I'm just going to leave it kind of closer to the top. All right, in we go. So I'm using, what color is this? Granny Apple Green. <whistles> Potent. Okay. And let's go in with, oh yeah, Pacific Point. Ooh, look at those colors mixing. <gasps> and then Coastal Cabana. It's almost like, um, Oh, what's it called? Ombre blue. In here with some more of that granny apple green. And this, we're losing it. I always take out the color, right? Just lift it off with your aqua painter. This kind of reminds me of a forest too, hey? With the greens. That was a great idea. Make some trees this way. Ah! squeeze this and wipe this on nice and push on me for not getting a nice granny color okay I think that's good that's good good grab some of that let's add a little
again I'm squeezing my re-anchor and I'm wondering why not much is happening that's because the water is out so I thankfully <laughs> brought myself a little cup of water here just gonna squeeze it dip it in the water totally missing this slide I just squeeze the pen squeeze and let it suck up the water and then you just put the lid back on and you need that water to help it drip a little nicer that's for sure okay let's take this away and dry this up. Oh yeah, oh look, new technique. <laughs> Swoosh. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, anyways, dry it, and then I'm gonna turn it. said yes it uses lots of water so she got out and and this the aqua painters do come in um, um, packs of two so yes if you wanted to use uh, more than one okay so then now this time I, I thought let's go this direction let's see what it, what it does I don't know oh and I cleaned off the colors didn't I I want to get a little more of that granny apple green I really quite like that. I kind of got a little lost. Okay, so we're going to start from scratch. Um, did you put Kleenex or anything? It is messy, hey? Yes, it is. But, but you know, it's kind of, it's fun. I like it. Just gonna go along the top, let it do some dripping. Ooh, it's probably gonna, yes, I, I was wondering about that as soon as I did it. It's going to drag the color from The, do you see that? How it's like taking the color? Is this the granny? Yes, I have lots of granny this time. So did you, did you learn this, Amy, on your own or did you um, learn this at a class? down here and kind of like you know, let's kind of move this ink color around it down here too so there you go you can make it like a, 
a messy, weird plan, I suppose. Okay. Oh, memories of water. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know what I'm talking about. You have to go back in my, my oh, nice. Back in my uh, post on Facebook. All right, so here we go. Layered up a little. Um, on this one, I think I'm gonna stamp hello in the background oops my fingers are a design oh, there she goes again she's ringing the bell let's go hello 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 Too high here. Oh, I don't know. You might not see that. Now's when I need a paper. Just get out this little scrap. And then let's go. So, yeah. So, I don't know. Let's try that. I'm going to stamp hello now in the... On the Whisper White. And I think I'm going to want to matte it. Let's do matte it on that Grania Green. That's going to look cool. So, I have seen... I haven't... I didn't have time to do this idea with this stamp set. But you get of stamp rows of different colors um, of the same saying over and over and over all the way across your entire card so basically your card looks kind of like a brick pattern with different colors it, it, it was a neat idea didn't get time to try it obviously but um, here here was my kind of little go at it I suppose let's try and throw that in man I've been nauseous today Attack is coming my way. Oh, okay, let's glue this on. I think I'll pop it up. Pop up that blue layer. Whew. Don't mind me, I'm just a little hot and nauseous. Breath and oh man, drink water, drink water. The baby wipe, Gina is suggesting a baby wipe underneath, could, but it will definitely, oh, I'm dizzy, wet your paper. And so I don't know, it might warp your paper quite a bit. I don't know. Okay. 
But yes, the baby wipe technique is a lot of fun too. Maybe I should do that next week. That is definitely fun. Let's see which direction do I like the best. This week. So let's put this one on here. Did I cut my little hello? I thought I had. And let's mount this onto our granny apple green. Cindy, quiet. Quiet. So this is a great way to use up the scraps. Actually, what about move it a little farther along? And let's do that. Um, Call it the Lisa Harden cut. I don't know what it's called. Just a, something a little bit different than we've done in the past. I'm going to add it on there. I say dimensionals. something else. It needs a hit of that Pacific point. I wonder if I stamp those. Little star are these dots in Pacific point or I could do the stars in Pacific point. Maybe the dots. Let's do dots. that hello should have been maybe mounted on Pacific Point. Okay. off. It's not going to go. I can always get out my... <laughs> well, it went. I can always get the um, gentle gloss like I should have done. <laughs> Although I used um, the liquid glue and not snail too, so I don't know if that works with liquid glue as well or not. This will help it pop a little. We can put it more to... Yeah, that's better. There. Okay. Lots going on. Lots of different things. Just having a panic attack. <laughs> Sorry. If you joined just recently, I'm just, uh, I'll get, I, I have them all the time. I just, uh, I'll keep going, but I will just have to take little breaths and <laughs> I'll
healthy side. <laughs> so there we go. There's that. Um, I will decorate, of course, the insert and the envelope later on. I have one last, oh no, I have two. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, let's go. What, I'll tell you what I was gonna do with this one. I'll show you the, the final. So for this one, I was thinking um, Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo, and Mango Melody as the colors. I wanted to do a little background of the Mango Melody and of course our watercolor paper, Drippy. And then I wanted, I thought, why I want to stamp a pattern over top. Okay, so I think I'm going to use basic black for this. The, the, again, since this is back out in um, stock, uh, I wanted to use these poppies. Love the poppies. So I'm going to stamp that over top and then use my little thank you as the saying for this one. So this is my goal for this one. That's my plan. Okay, so I will do that and show you later on on my blog. This one, I thought, well, can you emboss? What if I was to emboss um, the stars ahead of time with Whisper White? See? Um, and then I'm going to drip down the way with Knight of Navy. And I don't know if I'm going to do Memento Ink or if I'm just going to stick with Knight of Navy. And see what happens. Because, of course, that um, those stars are just going to stay white or should. Um, I don't know. We'll see how we see what it turns out like. I may actually go back later on, drip it down with Night of Navy, and then go back the other way with um, what is this crushed curry? I may try that. <clears throat> we shall see. Otherwise, I will do up the envelopes and the sayings and. hits at the most unopportune time. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm going to buzz off. Thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> you never know when these things are going to hit. They're all, you know, tend to be at the worst time possible. So anyways, uh, know that I'm not perfect either. Oh, Blackberry Bliss. Oh, yes. I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. I will do that. That sounds awesome. Hopefully this gives you some ideas of a technique to use. Make sure you share this video with your friends. And um, I thank you for all your comments and your hearts. I see lots of hearts went up. So thank you very much. Um, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow. I'm going to have some, um, can't even concentrate, some sale items buy one get one BOGO items where you get the item for free if you do a purchase of the same amount so because I am in need of sales so I will hopefully get some of those items up there there's there will be lots of celebration items that just retired so if you loved some of those things snag them um, other than that check out what tomorrow's um, color inspiration for Wednesday will be uh, it's going to be different. It's not going to be what you're wearing. It's going to be something else. And then Sunday, of course, share all the projects that you've been working on. I love seeing that. And I will see you back here on Monday at 10 a.m. with a new feature of the week and um, new ideas. All right. Have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you.